you guys have seen how to build out a scene using um, different shapes inside of Keynote, let's talk about how you can do it with photos that you either have taken yourself or that maybe you search for on the internet. The first place I want to talk about is going to Britannica Image Quest on ClassLink. And this is a service that we as a district pay for and you can use any of the images out of here without being worried about breaking copyright law. So if we open up this Britannica Image Quest, when you're at school, it will log you right in and then you just create a simple search. And when you find a picture that you like, you are just gonna click on it and then download and either choose download image to my computer or save to Google Drive. If you're working in Google Slides, you're gonna save it to Google Drive, but if you are just working in Keynote or something else, you're gonna download it to your computer. So I'm gonna choose download and that will put it in my downloads. Okay, so that's how you could use Britannica Image Quest. Another search strategy you might wanna use is Google Images. So here, you're gonna do your search first and then you have to change um, the permissions of what you're looking for. So here, if I was gonna search for mountains, once they come, once the images come up, I am going to go to tools, usage rights, and I'm going to search for only images that have Creative Commons licenses, meaning that they are safe for me to use. And once I have done that, I would just find the picture that I want and right click, and then do save image as, and um, you might give it a name and save it in a place that you're gonna remember. All right, so I have a couple of different assets uh, that I can use in my Keynote, and now I'm ready to go in and um, use those. So let's add a new slide, and I'm gonna add a blank slide. And now I wanna um, click in this blank area and choose Format. And instead of doing Color Fill like I did on my first example, I am going to choose Image Fill. And now I have to upload an image. So I'm going to get a choose downloads and find the uh, picture that I downloaded and I will open that. And here's my mountain stream. Okay, um, now I can add in um, other images on top of this. To do that, I'm just going to go to media, choose. I'm going to find that picture of the goat insert and you'll see that it's got a background on it and I want to like I don't want it to have a background because I want it to look like the goat is in this scene so I'm going to make that pretty big and with the picture selected on this image tab I'm going to choose instant alpha and then I can drag my cursor over different parts of the picture and it will make it disappear you do have to be careful um, and just kind of take your time with blocking it out because you don't want to block out any of the stuff that you want in the picture. Now once you get that down so far you can edit the mask and that's basically just cropping it. So you're going to get to a point where maybe you can't crop out everything or instant alpha out everything and then you can crop the rest out. Now once you have your background and your different asset in there you can animate that just like you did your shape. Now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that I can see the motion path I'm going to add, but I'm going to touch my asset again. I'm going to go to add an effect, and this time I'm going to just add move. I want to start it here, and I'm going to end it there. And I want it to look like it's kind of moving around, so I have to add these little circles in. I'm going to change the acceleration so it only eases in and it doesn't go out. And those are the basic skills you need to animate images.